This is the second part of a tutorial that shows how to add a camouflage pattern to a simple model of a jet. In this second part I'll show you how to colour the underside of the jet and we'll look at some issues that arise when you use the default real-time renderer. I'm going to change the window back to 3D view. I'm going to go into the view menu and toggle quad view. Now I want to colour the underside of the plane, so I'm going to the view menu, view bottom. I'm going to zoom back and shift and middle mouse button to pan. I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to select a face of the underside of the wing. I'm going to press B for B select and drag to select all the underside faces. I'm going to drag with the middle mouse button and zoom in a bit to see if I've got all the faces I want. I'm going to hold down shift and add that face. Let's have a look on the other side. I'm going to add the faces at the end tip. So I'm going to press B for B select and drag. I don't have to hold down shift because B select automatically extends the, the selection. I'm going to press B for B select and add the faces at the nose tip. I'm going to click the material button. I'm going to add a new material slot. I'm going to add a new material to the slot which I'm going to call underside. I'm going to click on the diffuse color. I'm going to drag down to make a fairly dark grey about 0.3. I'm going to make sure the underside material is selected. I'm going to click the assign button to assign the material to the selected faces and it appears that nothing happens. The problem is with real-time rendering. If I click the plus here to open up the properties panel and I look at display properties the default real-time rendering is multi-texture. If I change that to GLSL and I go into object mode you can see that the diffuse color has been applied to the selected faces and if I go to the render button and render the image again the, the diffuse color has been applied to the faces the only problem is with the default renderer if I change that back to multi-texture uh, there's the problem the simplest solution is just to use the GLSL renderer and if you're happy to do that I would end the tutorial now. You can use the multi-texture provided you apply textures to all faces and I'll show you how to do that next. I'm going to close the properties panel, I'm going to go into edit mode, I'm going to drag to open up a new window, I'm going to make the new window a UV image editing window. I'm going to click the plus here to create a new image. I'm going to call the new image under side. The image will be solid color, so it can be tiny. I'm going to make it 8 pixels by 8 pixels. And the color was a gray, each red, green, blue value about 0.3. I don't need an alpha channel. Click OK and straight away the faces have changed colour. To save the image, go to the image menu, save as image, and I'll call the image underside again, and save. To finish things off, I'm going to the material button and make sure that the underside slot is selected. Then I'm going to the texture button and I'm going to add a new texture which I'll call underside. Make it a type image. I'm going to click both. If I click this button I should be able to pick up the underside image. Click this button to pack it into the file and then finally coordinates UV. I'm going to end the tutorial there there are still some faces that haven't had materials assigned to them and the cockpit material hasn't got a texture linked to it um, but I'm going to leave those as an exercise for the viewer
I'll put the start file and the end file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.